So my name is David Berkson-Arndt. I'm an anaesthetist in the Narrabeven University Health Board. Could you tell us a little bit more about regional anaesthesia? Yeah, so regional anaesthesia is my subspeciality within anaesthetics um, and is the, uh, a technique of putting local anaesthetic around the nerves that supply the area where we do surgery. Um, and this enables us to avoid general anaesthetics and our patients stay awake during their surgery so they don't lose control um, of their environment and of their care. What do people find difficult about regional anaesthesia? Regional anaesthesia, um, there's two main parts to it. Okay, there's scanning um, and there's needling. Scanning is the ability to be able to see the anatomy that you want to see using the ultrasound scanner. And needling is the ability to be able to get the needle to that point where the local anaesthetic needs to be. Um, and when you combine those two things, there's needle probe orientation. Um, and these normally are the main difficulties that people have with performing the technique of regional anaesthesia. Can you explain what Anatomy Guide is and how it will help? Anatomy Guide is um, a very clever piece of technology which um, relays an overlay of anatomy onto your ultrasound screen. When I am there, I am pointing out the different bits of anatomy that they need to avoid or the different bits of anatomy they need to get their needle to. Anatomy Guide, um, by overlaying this colour overlay, enables them to be able to see that without me being there. Which blocks will it help with? So we want to cover areas such as upper limb, lower limb, um, trunk and thorax, okay? And we want to be able to use anatomy guide to, to enable people to be able to pick up an ultrasound unit and a needle and perform these blocks. Who would benefit most from anatomy guide? I think my trainees would use this as a safety net. Um, as I said before, it would be replacing me being directly there. Um, it would give me the confidence in allowing trainees potentially to do a block which they were reasonably good at um, in a more safe environment. And I would see that my consultant colleagues who really want to push forward with regional anaesthesia and we'd use this as, again, as a safety net to enable them to be able to perform these blocks um, without um, the benefit of, of you know, a regional specialist there. Can you give an example? An auxiliary nerve block is a very safe block. Okay, it avoids a general anaesthetic and a huge number of operations for the upper limb. Um, and anatomy guide will enable people to have an overlay of their anatomy um, and so will vastly increased the number of people who would be happy to go ahead and do these blocks. The fantastic thing about that is it just relays um, a level of safety and um, advantages to the patients themselves, um, which is really what we're all kind of about.